Oh, freaking rights, boys. Freaking uh, today should be interesting, if nothing else. But uh, just look on to it. We finished it last night. We gave it a shot of the paints there. So friggin' now we just got to pick up a blade and then uh, we can toss it together. That's how it works for freaking my snack. But uh, I'm running low on wire brushes and vacuum filters too. So don't let me forget that while we're out. But uh, the main reason why we're going out is, well, I got to dump the old lady off at the Walmart's course there. But uh, right around the beginning of October, you might remember me going and talking to a lawyers about, uh, you know, the roof deck and shit or whatever, right? So we come up with a plan and that was, you, you know, you got to write them a letter and they got 30 days to respond. And then after the 30 days, you know, they might just say, okay, you're right. Here's, you know, what, here's what we owe you sort of thing. Or they're more than likely going to be like, yeah, me. Okay. Me. Okay. You know what I mean? Of course, this friggin' lawyer that I picked, she says, you know, to send the letter, be 300 bucks. If they don't reply within 30 days, we'll take her from there. You know, it'll be 2,000 bucks or something to take it to court. So, okay, right on, no big dirts, you know what I mean? And friggin' the dicks have to pay up to a certain percentage of the total amount of the chooch for the lawyer's fees anywhere. So, you know, 1,800 bucks of it would have been friggin', uh, able to sort of get back not really you know what i mean it's not like they're gonna pay but you know what i mean it's just a matter of the facts of the fucking i'm right you're not sort of situation right so well now we're in the midst of the february's so october all of october november december january's four and a half months not a fucking peep can't even get him to so much as answer the phone. Leave him a message just to say, oh, hey, you know, it's uh, Chris there. If I can give you some monies to send a dick of a letter there and just uh, wondering about a follow up if anything's happening, if they've decided to give me the money, you know what I mean? Like, what's happening? Are we going to court? When's the date? What, what, you know what I mean? I, I paid you money. I have zero, zero. I have zero. I just went and gave you $300 and you just had it, and that's the end of the story. I'm not in the business of giving dicks 300 boxes. So now, have we not only got nowhere with the roof dicks in fucking four and a half months, we probably got to figure out a way to uh, get our monies back out of this friggin' uh, dump truck. So yeah, you guys been, uh, you know, wondering what's up with the roof dick? What's happening with the roof? Oh, you just quit the roof. Oh, no, I didn't just quit the fucking roof, but I didn't expect I was going to have to babysit the friggin' uh, the lawyer to uh, get anything done. You know, you give them money, then they, you know, oh, hey, this is what's happening, or this or that, or here's an email, or a phone call, or something, anything, you know. Just not just drop off the face of the fucking earth, but uh, who knows, maybe that's what's happened. So they're not answering their phone and they're not fucking replying to messages and they're they're just they don't it's like they don't exist it's like oh we're just gonna go and get as many 300 bucks as we can and then jump ship for fuck's sakes but i'm not fucking impressed at all because now everything that i've done i call a bunch of lawyers call a bunch of lawyers call, oh this one will take my money and help me on this night i go and see her explain the situation yep okay this is not give me 300 bucks okay still pay there's 300 bucks takes her it was uh i think it was the fifth that i sent it wasn't the 13th till she accepted it I would be able to just do it myself, except for fucking, you gotta go to the courthouse. You gotta print out a bunch of bullshit. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. It's fucking a bunch of bullshit. And, fu and it's fuck takes all fucking dudes and, and it's an hour away. And I don't wanna have to go to fucking lawyers and courthouses and this and that's and a bunch of shit. That's why I paid you to take the care of that for me. But now I gotta fucking do all that shit anyways and deal with fucking goof lawyers. You wanted an update on the roof dicks? Here we are, Ro update on the roof dicks for fuck's sakes. I also got the uh, Blackview app going on my cell phone too. So today we shall be able to Dauntus if my hotspot connects you onto my phone will applicate you onto the stovepipe of the for friggin' snack. There you go, you can send a rusty hammer parked at Inwoods Customs. Friggin' right, so we'll send us if, uh, if it'll work in the follow us around region. But uh, just getting our shit ready here. And uh, probably gonna have lunch before we go. The old Rusty Hammers just had a friggin' uh, stovepipe alert. That's not what it said. It's a friggin' right. Eh? We got the friggin' shot. Yeah, we did. You can see on the map there how there's like a bunch of the green ones. Those are the dicks. And if you find one that's green and it's fucking in the mobile position, you should be able to dauntus it. There's some dick, it shows you on the map, him drives in around and shit, right? So yeah, we're just live viewing a dick in the Americas, some words, 
Holy fuck, he is just creaming. Took that corner wide as frig. But, uh, yeah, so, in other words, figure some of you would uh, get a kick out of that, and uh, others would just tell me to fuck right off. I apologize. He's in friggin' Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York! Eh? In the fuck of Brooklyn, for fuck's sakes. That guy was. But, anyways, maybe some dicks from Brooklyn's recognize the, the chooch and, and still fight. Friggin', uh, got the old friggin' camera working in the, uh, in the stovepipe, I just friggin' plugged that shit in, got another camera, plugged it in, and it friggin' works. Hopefully it's just like, uh, maybe the plug in the tailgate or something, I didn't plug it in all the way or something, just absolutely fucking stupid as fuck. I hope I didn't bend over any of those little pins because then I'll have to pull the whole fucking wire out. But anyways, we'll get some lunch into ourselves and uh, Cheech. Oh, I almost forgot we got a bit of a postcard here yesterday. It's in the old lady friggin' frigged off with it onto me. But uh, it says, uh, hey, Chris and Tiff. Aloha, greetings from Hawaii words. Big, big fans from Markdale, Ontario, just celebrating your retirement, touring, touring Hawaii, taking lots of pics and vids featuring your merch. Directing lots of dicks down here to the One Pug Life way of life as we absolutely love what you do. Looking forward to visiting Inwood once we return in the spring after the snow clears in Markdale. Shelly and Tim. Friggin' rights boys, look at that. Friggin' Inwood Custodium's hat on friggin' uh, some type of the beaches in the Hawaii words. Friggin' rights buds. Appreciatory felt terrible. Hey, we'll get some Hawaii words. Freaking right. Freaking love bagel sammies. Oh, in other words, we're finally ready to go here. I was just gonna go marching in with the GoPros, you know, and play an open cigarette, but I figured then they would uh, watch what they say sort of thing, right? We're not gonna get their, their true reactions because, you know, they'll be like, oh, fuck, camera, change everything. That was gonna happen, right? So the quality is definitely not going to be good. You're probably not going to be able to hear fuck all, but uh, we'll do our best. Uh-oh. And then uh, hopefully there's enough time to uh, come back out and figure out what the fuck's wrong with this uh, backup camera bullshit. But enter his voice with son how it goes. We will son tell it goes. Oh my goodness, Tipper Word! Tipper Word Fox, what you say? Oh, I want oh, a pig iron flyer! Oh my goodness, Mucha Blasias! <laughs> just like totally used the wrong hand to get in. It probably looks like Oh, we just got all those grinders and they're on sale. Pig iron five bucks. Ah. Let's go to the wrong side of the cupboard. But look at, oh shit. We were just connected. It was connected though. It was, I swear. For rent. Eh? How much do you want to bet that's going to be the lawyers? Oh, I'll bring the, the GoPros with me just in case this fucks up. At least I'll have some audio. I'll just put it in my pocket. Give you the 300 bucks. Okay. So I haven't heard anything from you. I left messages, never heard anything back. Okay. So did you get the letters sent off and got quartered underway, or what's going on? Just give me 10 minutes. Um, I will pull your file um, and see if we've gotten a response back or not. Uh, Okay, um, I, I do apologize. I had surgery at the start of the year. Um, I had some complications and I'm just getting back into my office in the last week or so. So if you can give me 10 minutes, I will play your file and see what's going on. Okay? Right on. Well, we started with the first set of excuses. How you doing? Good. Okay, let's go try this again. Um, so a letter was sent out when you, short, or actually the, I think it was the day that you came in. Um, we have not gotten a response from him. Um, I do apologize. It wasn't uh, brought forward to commence the claim. Um, 
so the only thing I, I can say is, I mean, we can get the claim. It's the claim is already drafted, um, and we can get it issued and sent out, and um, get Mr. Zavitt served. Is like, how far along are you? Is it like days? Like, can you just like a couple clicks on the pewter and, and we're going to court, or is it going to be more months and months more? Um, once he's served with the claim, he has the 21 days to respond. If he doesn't respond, then we go for the motion. That's that list that I went through um, with you that day, the chart on how the small claims court process works. Um, if you can send me that estimate from the Don's, yeah. um, we, we'll attach that to the claim and we'll get that issued and served on them. All right. Okay? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Take care. Yeah. Oh, dick. Federalskis. Son of a bitches. Huh? Just missed me. All right, well, I dumped the old lady off at Walmart's here, so I got a list. Some words. We'll try. Uh, we'll try more son of a bitch curtain. Hey, okay. try more son of a bitch curtain. But I got a list. Got some vacuum filters we gotta get, and Vansa blades, of course. The wire brushes. Cause all mine are fucking dicker. Uh, Look like Rick. I'm brushing his teeth with him. Fuck sakes. Oh fuck. Big dirty second, Jay. Fucking belligerent. You know, if you got the uh, Milwaukee, you know, the portable bandsaw, uh, I need the blades for it. The only bandsaw blades we got are along that, that, that wall there. You Google. Milwaukee portable bandsaw blade size and the first ad that comes up Milwaukee deep cut portable bandsaw blade home depot.ca oh, fucking believable Oh well, frig of my snack boys if we didn't fucking get Kijiji that friggin the stovepipe. Look it up online. They totally have the blades here. Come here to buy them. No guy. Unbelievable words. Oh, some fella right over here. Rick and Izzy aired the operations here. Ended up with some decknels. Okay. Oh, ended up with some decknels, he did. Yeah. On my stovepipe. Oh my freak now. What happened? Tip a word. <laughs> Are you a piece of me to me? Oh, or nope. something. I'm trying. My fingers are dipped. Eat the fucking soul pack. Maybe I will. Oh, I got a bulb for my, my new lamp. Oh, we'll put some shit away here. Hopefully we got some good footage to nerds from the shitbox cam. But I don't know it is. But I don't know it is. Uh, uh, oh, I looked at some of the footage uh, from the uh, hidden camera there and it's just blurry as fuck. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. It looks like you're, you know, you licked the lens or something. But uh, anyways, we'll go pull the tailgate uh, cover off. Uh, Old rusty there, something if uh, maybe the camera got unplugged or something for somehow, some reason, some wise. Some words. Oh, well, that was a waste of time. Why? Why? What could have possibly happened to where to where that no working? Well, I'll have to figure this out so there's no sense in putting the fucking tailgate back on. So I'll just bring this bullshit inside and how much for something? Well, anyways, the old lady's getting uh, how much for something. So let's see what we got. So wooden box with different types of the arts all on it. <laughs> and uh bag of sour keys. 
Put the Canada appliance into it for freak's sake. Holy shit. Big fan of the fan art boys. Oh, it's got a Ladar even. Howdy Pug and Tiffany just thought of making you this little box for your whatever. Watch you every day. First son showed me your channel, then old man watches before me. Keep it up. Lisa and Tom from London. All right on, man. Mutual blurgence. Come on, Sonny. John, son? Hey? How you doing? Oh, fuck, how you doing? <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, I just thought I was calling uh, Officer Johnson there for a second. I apologize. No, oh, no, beg your pardon. No, no, it's all good. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't need a hammer. <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> cool, man. Choo -choo. That friggin' son of a bitch. Yeah, we got through a few tonight. What time is it? We missed a few too, though. Fucking reaching for my phone and it's right here. But, uh, seven fucking thirty. Oh, frig my snack, boys. Hey, let's fucking leave the blade of the fucking knife open and then fucking just rake it all up on your hand and arm. I apologize. Yeah, we did. Just banging the calls out, boys. Call. To avoid just banging them out. We're getting down to the gritty gritty now, boys, so if I haven't called you or left a message, I might not have your number, so you best email it to me. Hi, Steve. I can't get to my phone right now. Leave a message. Oh, Bud's there, Steve. Bud's, you probably missed your teaching pantailers or something. I uncordially should probably I apologize. But uh, anyways, I'll put you on the top of the list. Still paying. And uh, the next guy here, Rob Ford. It's the old, uh, old Mayor of Toronto here. We'll give him a call. Hello. Is this Rob Ford? Yes, it is. Any relation to the... the <laughs> Any relation to the mayor of Toronto? Heck no. I apologize. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Hey. How you doing, man? Not too bad. Samantha, what are you doing with your brother Jonathan? I apologize. Yeah, really dinging him out tonight, boys. It's probably three, three or four hours in. Okay, are you chuchin? I'm chuchin, buddy. No, <laughs> Dick. Not too bad. Guess who I live near? Who's that? I live near, I live near you, Dizzy. Oh, oh, dick. I live near the Salem, and he lives out towards Central Mass. You ever gone and saw him? I'm gonna go visit him someday. Right on. Yeah, he's good shit, eh? Did you dizzy the maid? <laughs> Small world. Yeah. Yeah, and you were the... Uh, you're the dick that uh, jail broke my phone for me in like 2010 or something, eh? Might have been before that, actually. No shit. Hey, so it's been a minute. It was been eight years yesterday that I started YouTube. Oh, wow. Happy uh, YouTube anniversary, fuck. Eight, eight years in a day. You believe that shit? I've been watching it for at least, at least seven. I mean, when I first met your videos, I was your yeah, that would have been the first few months that I was doing it, so. Yeah, and the old fucking trail, trail thing. Trail dummy and stuff. Trail dummy, sorry, trail dummy. It's been a few years, I forgot the term. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Turn, turned out to be old mustache the whole time, fucking eh? Fucking mustache. Fucking, fucking dumb fucking goof piece of shit. Everybody? Ah, oh, just friggin' on the phone with Nage81 there. Second last one from the from the list there. Joe's the last one. Phone died. Phone died. So we weren't able to get to Joe. Friggin' uh, it's fucking nine o'clock anywhere. It's freaking time to shut her down. Did phone calls four hours tonight, boys. Four hours trying to get her done. Pre-story all the fucking dicks that uh, ordered shit in the January's for the get dicks to buy more shit promo. Strap again so that we're having to fucking get dicks to buy more shit. A lot of you guys wondering uh, what's been up with the roof dicks and I didn't say anything about it because I didn't know because I expected you know October I paid to give a letter to the roof dicks that will that they will have 30 days to reply to so I'm thinking okay you know the middle middle ish of November we'll hear something back but you know all the shit so do this that I mean it's not like I've paid somebody to deal with this not my department 
right? So it's like, I, you know, like I got to make videos and I got to do this and I got to do that. So I can't really make videos about, you know, going to the courthouse and fucking blah, blah, blah and filling out papers and being frustrated as fuck when I can't fucking get anywhere with it. Like I tried. It's, it's just fucking ridiculous. So if it costs me 300 bucks to have a letter sent and then, okay, 30 days to reply and then it'll be another $200 for the full $500 retainer to start the proceeds of the bullshit once the fuck Sakner is established and then, you know, 1800 bucks total when it goes full blown all the way to the end, this and that and you know, bring this guy to court and prove that he's a fucking goof shyster and he owes me a new roof. If you saw in all the Facebook posts that he made and all the bullshit and this and that, I mean, I made videos about it. There's a playlist. I'll put it in the fucking top corner of the video there and then you can uh, just click on that and you can sign up the freaking playlist. Of course, I think this video will probably be in that playlist too, but uh, yeah, I mean, it just like, it's like, what are you on, Team Zavitz? You know, I'm not in the business of uh, uh, coughing up 300 buckets to people who, who just quit, you know. And then she's like, oh, oh I had surgery. So I'm expecting this to be, you know, I hear something by, you know, mid-November. Well, you had surgery in January. So what happened to, you know, November, December? My concern is that I gave you money to do something that hasn't been fucking done. And the letters got fucking you know, spelling mistakes into it. Mr. Whitcroft informed me that he hired you, but it says fired you. So it's like the guy's not even, you know, he's gonna like, well, I got the letter, but I didn't even understand what it said because the words didn't match together to, to the accordulation of make any sense, right? So like unbelievable words. I would rather fucking, you know, call out this fucking goof roof dick than have to call out my fucking lawyer of all fucking people. But any words, boys, Hopefully we can just deal with this and it's just fucking, you know, something that happens. We can get on with our fucking dirts because man, five and a half months. Well, it's actually been three. Well, no, it hasn't. You're missing two months out of your life. November and December, it happened, bro. You know what I mean? Like, holy shit. But any words, boys, friggin' uh, apologize. It's been a minute since we've had any of the dramas, hey? The dirty old drama say hey? drama sequels Dallas. Oh, hopefully the fucking kitchen goes good because fuck, I can't, I just, I can't fucking deal with this nonsense anymore. I think I'll be going to prison the next time this horse shit happens. But, uh, any words, boys, friggin', uh, I think we'll probably call her Sigurd. Gotta do THC. Haven't even given the girls their snap tonight because I've been out here talking on the phone all fucking night. I got a friggin' teenage girl. Uh, but, uh, any words, boys, I do apologize and I also beg my part, but, uh, there you go, another dick of part one production. Until tomorrow. Oh. Don't the watchers get you.